Hi everyone, I'm Tom, and I'll be your navigator for this discovery series from VisuQuest on age-related macular degeneration. Let's just call it AMD. So, you or someone you care for has been diagnosed with age-related macular degeneration. I have something to share with you. So have I. I was diagnosed about three years ago, one of an estimated 9 million people in the U.S. that year. My goal, one that I take very seriously, is to help you get from point A, diagnosis, to point B, best outcomes. AMD is not a new disease, so there's just no reason to go this alone. We should make sure that we're all on the same page with regards to the two main types of macular degeneration. Let's listen in as Dr. C. Joseph Beck, a board-certified and fellowship-trained retinal surgeon, briefs us on dry versus wet AMD. Hi, everyone. Let's start by considering the two main types of age-related macular degeneration. The first is commonly referred to as dry. You may hear the technical term for this, non-exudative. Dry type is characterized by accumulation of debris under the macula called drusen, with no associated leakage. Well, let's quickly review what a normal retina looks like. And then I'll show you actual cases of AMD to illustrate dry versus wet. Now, this is the view your eye doctor has through a dilated pupil. And I've labeled two important landmarks. The fovea is the center of the macula, and it's responsible for color vision and reading vision. The round structure to the right is the optic nerve. You may hear it referred to as the disc. Think of it as a fiber optic cable that transmits information generated by the retina back to the brain. And by the way, please don't be intimidated by the terms you hear in this tutorial. I just want to introduce you to the basic language of retinal. So I often hear patients say, dry macular, that's the good kind. Well, I'm not so sure that's correct. Remember drusen, the hallmark deposits seen in dry AMD? Well, they distort the overlying macula, just like these misplaced tennis balls negatively affect the grass court.